What's up, Travel Laker fam? Uh, it's your boy, Brandon. Uh, so the brooder room's been empty um, for almost over a month now. Um, and most of our chickens, all of our ducks, our geese, everything that's been in here is all out now on the farm, uh, just living life and having a good time. Um, but we actually just decided to get some Cornish hens and we're actually going to use them for meat chickens for us um, and also for also to make more money for the farm as well so we're trying to start to integrate those kind of things into the farm to help bring revenue back into the farm so we actually got uh, our first hundred today um, that we're going to start raising uh, they'll be on the same water which is called magic, magic water uh, that we got Justin Rhodes does for his turkeys and we actually did it for our turkeys as well and we didn't actually lose out of all 11 turkeys we didn't lose a single turkey during the poult stage uh, which is actually pretty unheard of you're almost guaranteed to lose turkeys during the poult stage but we didn't lose a single one and they're now out of the place of poult stage and they're free ranging on the farm now and have made it past that point and I, I we just give uh, I think a thank you to him for talking about that water and we're actually going to try and use it for these chickens now to make sure that they stay healthy to see if it works well and better for your chickens as well um, so that's garlic honey apple cider vinegar and water um, I know I mentioned it in the turkey video that I've done about the turkeys when they came but we're going to do the same thing for these chickens uh, we're actually going to put them on wild game bird feed for the first uh, four weeks and then it'll transfer into the other feed. It's going to be a higher protein so that they can actually grow faster and help their leg production because they grow so quickly. Um, you're looking at around almost eight weeks for them to be full grown, ready for to be sold and or eaten. So you want them to grow and have enough protein so that their bodies can keep up. So um, I'll show you guys kind of some videos of what we're doing. We're going to uh, use one of the things we built a long time ago for the roosters um, for a chicken tractor and then we're probably going to build another chicken tractor as well because it probably won't be big enough for all 100 of them actually I know it won't be so we're going to be building another one of those as well but I'm going to just take a look this is like the first 50 uh, they came in two stacks there's two boxes here but these are the, the baby chicks right now um, of course they're really cute now and we just understand that this is just a process of life that as we eat food that we just have to you know do these things in order to survive and well now we become a part of that and doing that for ourselves as well as uh, surviving and even surviving off our own land um, and using those things to help produce income for our family as a farm as well as food for our family and other families that we know and our friends um, so this is just a part of how it is and uh, it's exciting uh, for us to start in these things so I'm glad you guys could be on this journey with us today so for that, uh, that's it for now. I uh, just want to show you guys these guys as they are here today. So.